Comedy at 10,000 feet would like to present our newest act. He comes from down there and goes by one name. Welcome, Count. Hey! hey. hey. All right. Yeah, baby. All right, guys. Yeah, thank you. Hey. Thanks for having me. You know, I'm a little depressed. I put off going to the Golden Gate Bridge and decided to come here instead. Uh, I'm Count. I'm, one, I'm a one-name artist. I'm one of those one-name artists. I'm the Prince, Liberace, and Sting of comedy. There's one small difference. They have talent. You know, I heard all the jokes about my name. Count Basie, Count of Monte Cristo, Count One, Count Two, Count Three. I even heard the count without the L. Oh, no. Painful. But it is my favorite four-letter word. What's up with this cruel joke Mother Nature plays on men? This male pattern balding. You see, I got some of it going on. It's like a landing pad for hummingbirds. No. Oh. Believe me, they do yeah. land no way. and leave deposits. I don't believe it. I think it's the fruity shampoo I use. Well, that could be. You know, the deposits they leave, I know is good fertilizer, so I vigorously rub it into my scalp. I rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Still waiting for results. Yeah, you know, I cut my own hair. All four of them. <laughs> if I didn't trim my nose hairs, I'd be one of those bushy nose men. Oh, they're creepy. You, you, you always think if you have to shake hands with them, uh, a nose hair is going to fall out on your arm. Ugh. <laughs> That's creepy. That's creepy. You know, hair grows everywhere. It stops growing where you want it and grows everywhere you don't want it. What's up with that? It grows up my nose. Like a man like me, well, we like to smell things. Not that. It grows on my ears. I can't hear. It grows on my backside. I mean, isn't it a little messy back there enough as it is? <laughs> At least with me it is. Yeah, I never let anybody walk behind me. You know, I, 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 I try to avoid that. I don't want them to see the vacant acreage. I was voted, in high school, I was voted student with the largest nostrils. That's a new category, along with biggest overbite and massive unibrow. New categories. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you know, th this, this appendage I have growing here, it's big, it's like a tree. I, ca I can't get around it everywhere I walk, it's right there. You know, if I tip my head back, it's like a two-car garage. Okay, <laughs> back it in, come on, back it in. Yeah, you know, I, I don't seem to have luck with women. They, I don't think they like my voice. It's, uh, it's hard, it's deep, it's dark. They like a little higher voice like I'm doing now. And they like it even higher and then eventually you go, honey, can I get my balls out of your purse? <laughs> Very demasculizing. Yeah. Oh. You know, uh, uh, I too uh, like uh, women with soft voices. I toured in bands many years. My leers are a little fatigued. I like a, a soft voice on a feminine woman. You can see the most beautiful woman from head to mid to toe. And then she speaks. Oh. Hi! It's like two freight trains hitting each other! Oh. All right, thanks for having me. Thank you.